there. I'm Amish Cousin Cyrus, and this is my cousin Simon, and you're watching WUW Hype on OneWrestling.com. It's the return of Wee Wee. I can't believe it. This this totally overshadows my return to wrestling tonight with the return of Wee Wee. Bobby, you have a car, right? You wouldn't mind running me over, would you? What in the world? Well, Dones, while they chase each other around the ring, I'll answer your question. Um, he's your fallen partner. Do you see that in your future? Well, I definitely do. The Walker clan and Bobby G have a score to settle. And if Mac Daddy Flex is by my side or not, I'm going to take care of business for him and for Mark Viola and for myself, too. And a vicious drop foot by Ace to the Assassin. He doesn't call him the drop kick. You saw the way the feet separated. He got him in the upper and lower body. You call it sloppy. I call it innovative. I usually call it a liver kick myself. Sorry. And, and with El Dante partaking in his religious endeavors tonight, El Dante, if she went out and got Juan Jeremy, like you said, a decorated veteran tag team specialist. Bobby G, I mean... You gotta give credit to Asian Assassin. He went out and got the best. Well, he definitely, Rwan Jeremy is a veteran among veterans here in WW. This match. And a long list of tags in win for that match. Oh, I got it! That was Spear! And the cradle's being rocked. Oh, innovative splash by the cousin. I don't even know who's in the ring now. I'm seeing double. Wow! Well, we were very happy to be with the Amish. Oh, oh, it's, it's, it's the magic guy, and we would better, uh, we better look good for this, you know. So I think um, the, the, the great fans of the WW can, uh, can see us right now with this thing, so... Uh, hi, uh, I I'm Amish Cousin Cyrus, and this is my cousin Simon, and we're the Amish Boys, one of the exciting tag teams here in the WUW. First of all, I'd like to thank you all for coming out to see our last match here at the Gleason's Gym, where we fought the 8th Street Assassin, and the partner he dug up, the wily veteran, Mr. Juan Jeremy, who, what, is that, oh, oh right, yeah, sorry, it's a language barrier, Juan Jeremy, and uh, Mr. Juan, he's, he's a corner man, and we know all about that in Amish country, we have something like a corner man, he's like a, a veterinarian with all of my duck fights, once I was done with the duck, the corner man had to come in and take care of him, and the cows and the pigs, and some cousins if the doctor wasn't around, anyway, we came out victorious then, and we plan on coming out victorious next month when we face Mr. 8th Street Assassin again. Now, he decided one partner wasn't good enough, so he got two to take us down. Well, he got the Brotherhoods, the powerful and speedy tag team here in the WW. But I think we can do it, but we need a third guy. Now, I'm thinking we get our new friend, Mr. Squire. Now, my only thing is, how do we get in contact? Simon says... One for the money, two for the show, three to get ready, and four to go! Four to... Oh, that's right, we already got in contact with Squire. We sent him to Amish country to train with Cousin Bull Moose, and I think he's gonna do okay. I mean, for a 12-year-old boy, he 
sure has a full beard. Maybe when he hits puberty, his voice will deepen a little bit. <laughs> Man, anyway, I think he's going to do pretty well with the cows and the pigs and so on, because he spent enough time dealing with Menor from that arrogant aristocrat, Mr. the Musketeer. <laughs> I, uh, I, I hope he doesn't uh, hear me say that. We're going to have some trouble. Anyway, come on down October 2nd at October Heat to see us and Mr. Squire take on the Brotherhoods and the 8th Street Assassin. You won't regret it, and you won't regret seeing our celebration. That's right. <laughs>
has the odds stacked against him. Bill Young has that chair again. I have no idea what's going on here. LC had the title won. LC has Spade on one side. There, there he goes. The chair. Did he throw the chair to Spade? He did. This is for Spade to use. You gotta believe this. Wait, look at that. Oh, oh my God! May have crushed, crushed the trachea on the larynx. Whatever it was with that chair. Oh my God. He might be spitting out blood. I can't see from my vantage point. Just like the elementary school church that I wrestled in on Wednesday, this is simply elementary, folks. All that has to happen is that ref rolled back into the ring and Tristan Spade covering LC. LC is... I think so. He may have crushed his larynx. And he's wearing that mask, and as traditional as it is, on top of having his throat just crushed. I know it's not easy to breathe in that mask. Tristan Spade, now it's just elementary, folks. What's he going for here? No, no, no. He's a door. Plus, it's innovative stun gun maneuver by Tristan Spate. Cowboy coming over here, taking the... This could be it. He's going to lose his mask right here. He's got no. Count up two. Spate with that close retaining the title. Unbelievable. Next I've ever seen this has to be the match of the year. I don't know how LC kicked out of that move. And listen to this crowd. Listen to this crowd, people. And what's going on? The cowboy is not giving. I, I thought he's on the. I thought he was on the page. He's on the inning. Well, you heard that. To get this, to go! Oh! the chair right out of his hand! May have, may have broken the roof! Here we go! Oh, the oh, 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 El Conquistador, October 2nd, Gleason's Gym. I'm going to get to see my favorite wrestler, myself, the man, Chris Romano, wrestle you for that heavyweight championship. El Conquistador, you think that that beating that you got from Tristan Spade was bad? Pal, on October 2nd, I'm going to stamp your green card and I'm going to send you back to Mexico. Hey, cameraman. Yeah, you idiot. You think I could be El Conquistador on October 2nd? Exactly, baby. Exactly. Cretans, let me tell you something. You better be there on October 2nd because the man is going to have his reign once again here in WWE. Because as you can tell, I'm in the best shape of my life, pal. And El Conquistador, you're just going to go back on the unemployment line with a lawnmower again when I'm done with you, buddy. October 2nd, be there because I'm going to be there to take that title away from you.